Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, thanks to all of you for all the support as usual. I can't tell you how much my tarot family means to me and in each and every one of you. And as usual too, I do appreciate it every time you hit the like button or share the reading, whatever it is that you see fit. It all is doing something to the YouTube algorithm so that people will see the readings. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will hit on all areas of life. Mondays are different every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what style those are from week to week. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aries? Messages for Aries, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. You have the lovers, the seven of cups, some choices coming in, big time choices. But you are gonna make those choices carefully. You've got justice, the six of pentacles. So those feature balance, the scales of Libra and both of them, those scales of justice. You've got the queen of swords, very decisive, the hierophant, which comes right before the lovers, the nine of swords and the knight of pentacles. Well, I definitely feel like somebody here, there's a balance and you may have a, a job change. I get like this shift in order to give more time, more of yourself to your family, to your love life, to other areas of your life. If you feel like you've just been work, work, work. I do get to like somebody making a decision about money. Um, even if you've got like a side hustle going that you say, this is just, it's great, but it's not bringing me enough money for the time that I've been committing. Like if something shifted, so, you know, something I get like an, even like an Amazon driver where you're getting routes that are too far away or something like that, where it just feels like a side hustle that hasn't, it hasn't really kept its, its pace financially to keep it. Um, but I do want to say though, I mean, you've got, we've got Libra, Gemini, Taurus here, but you've got a love story here. That's really nice. And I do feel like, especially with this, you have somebody here that's going to be very dependable. I like the Justice card too because it combines the Emperor and the Empress, but that that Knight of Pentacles, that is not only good news is on the way, but it's somebody who's very steady, maybe an Earth sign coming in, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, those of you that are making a decision, because you have a big choice here, it's like I see somebody standing at a turning point, looking at everything and making a decision really with some intellectual capabilities really through the mind more than even more than the heart saying I know this is more, the most practical thing to do and so in again it may be too like I said if it's a job situation where it's not paying what it used to and it just seems like it's creating it's creating such a limitation in in terms of the other areas of your life like it's just taking up too much time I do feel like with that even though that sounds like more of a heart decision, I still feel like it's logical. It's like, this is not paying off. So with the lover's energy too, though, you may have a choice in terms of relationships. This is a big one. I mean, it has a lot to do. This does have a lot to do with making choices from the heart, but I'm telling you with the justice card and that queen of swords, there's, it's not, this is not something that you're just diving into impulsively. It's definitely something with some thought behind it. But with this too, if you're single right now, you may meet the love of your life with this one, and that's going to change some plans. And it for the better, though, and I also feel like, too, if you've been, you know, wondering about reconciliation, wondering about somebody coming back, I feel like you're going to meet somebody that you're going to not even think about reconciliation anymore. It'll be one of those game-changing types of relationships where you say, who, what, who was that that I thought I wanted a second chance with? Not anymore. I mean, you're a loyal sign, but with this lover's energy, this will dominate. It is a love that expands and grows. It, it is a card, too, of overcoming. So if you're in a relationship, not a breakup, but you're in something right now and there have been some challenges, it's also an energy, too, 
that will help you overcome those challenges. So like I, we were talking about in the beginning, if work has just been crazy and it's really not allowing you to be the partner that you know your partner deserves and the one that you deserve to be, again, I feel like you're going to do something to bring that back into balance. So the seven of cups with the nine of swords, egad, these two we don't want, especially for your type of energy. You're not going to like this at all. It's too indecisive. And so you may find that you, it doesn't take you long to say, I'm not, I can't continue this. I got to make a change. So it's the, the Daydreamer's Torment card. So two, two, if it is an ex that you're wondering about, it's also conveying that there may be things about the relationship or being in a relationship that you miss but not the heartache, not some of the insecurities that were part of that relationship. And I do get it too, possibly with a water sign. If you were with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and you're saying there was a lot of that indecis indecision and things about it that just weren't trustworthy, I feel like you're not going to go back to it. That you may try but for a period, but I do feel like you're going to move forward. And it's going to be in a way that brings in so much more clarity. So you don't feel this energy of being stuck. And so with the Justice card, this is a great card because it is about decisions. And I mentioned the red robe of, of the Emperor is, is what the Justice is cloaked in with the green sash of the Empress. So perfect balance. But I also feel like too, you're bringing in a great partnership. And so if it's a job situation too, and you've had kind of a patchwork or you were supplementing your income, with some sort of a high side hustle, I do feel like you're going to bring in a new job. This may also be a new job where you don't have to keep doing that, where you say, this is enough and I can, I can live comfortably on this. I can save some money on this. It's a decision card too, though. So I do feel like not only are you at a turning point, but you're also going to have information come in. Those of you that are waiting on a job scenario, to change or wanting it, or you're actively out there because you're not one really to wait around and say, well, I hope the universe changes this without any effort by me, right? You know, so with the justice card, like we were talking about, you're going to evaluate things, but make changes and make choices more carefully looking at who do you surround yourself with? And it, even if it's a work situation, if the people around you are kind of reactive and demanding and you feel like it just energetically is not a good fit because after you're done being with them, you're zapped, you know, the energy zapped. I do feel like you're going to make a change to move towards much more balance. And you have it here, of course, with the Six of Pentacles. This is going to bring in greater balance. Now, if you've been in a situation work-wise that's been understaffed, I also feel like, too, there may be money coming into your employer that's going to help with this so that you are not doing things, this, the job of two and three people. So you'll have support. You've got people coming in that are going to be of help to you. So if it's that, too, where you say, yeah, it's just I, I can't leave this the way that it is, or if it's, you know, especially something where it's health care or something health related, in a field, something health related, or it's just a situation where there's an expectation. Um, I do feel like that's going to shift and change and it's going to feel so much easier for you where you're just doing a job meant for one person. Now in relationships though, if you did have that parent-child relationship where you took on somebody who needed a lot, they were needy, 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 this is going to bring in somebody who is much more capable Okay, I keep getting this energy of somebody who's capable where they're not, they don't want that. They want to be, you know, in a partner, not, not a, a somebody who needs caretaking. So I do feel like in a relationship, you've got a lot more balance. And even if it's a relationship like we talked about that you're currently in, and there's been challenges with work on one of your behalf, I do feel like that's going to get better. And so with this Queen of Swords, you're going to make choices from that mental standpoint where there's no wishy-washy energy, the communication too is going to be solid. So if you have meetings coming up, if you have a conversation coming up, it's going to be clear but not aggressive. She doesn't go charging forward where people think, oh my God, they're, they're just going off about this. This is a, an energy where you'll have your conversation will be right to the point, but it will be one, two, where it's still, there's still a mutual understanding, especially if it's a job. Now, I also get too, though, in a relationship, being very clear about what you want and having somebody who meets that. 
And if it's a current relationship and there needs to be a conversation, it's going to be one that's had and it seems like it just gets everything back on firm, solid ground. There's nothing missing here. So the Hierophant energy, we bring this in. 379 are often associated with this, but this too is looking out for each other. So I do feel like those of you that feel like you've been going it alone, you're not going to feel like that. This is having support around you. And it's also too, though, being with like-minded people, people who come together, who bring unity into the picture. So any new people who enter in the workplace or enter in your life in, in any capacity, really, are going to be people who get along well with you. And with this too, I feel like you've got a common mission moving forward. And if it's a relationship, you see eye to eye. You have similar values, morals, things like that, where there's no huge hurdles. There's nothing huge where you go, we are just two different people. This is saying, no, we are connected. We have a unified energetic force between us and we think a lot alike and we're moving forward. So with that nine of swords, I feel like this is sort of a blip on the radar. I don't see it as being a huge issue, but it is a bit of worry. So if you're waking up and even if you're having bad dreams, I get somebody having a dream, negative dreams about animals, like they're out of control. And that may be a feeling of having situations in your waking life that feel out of control and like you can't seem to harness those. So we know that when that happens, really we have to focus on what we can control and that's our own our own choices. So that Knight of Pentacles, again, help is on the way. For somebody too, if you're single, I haven't talked about this enough probably. If you're single though and life has been out of whack because of work or some other issue, this is where things move forward and they move forward for the long run. So it's not just a temporary band-aid fix. It's moving things forward and I feel like all the way into 2024. So let's see what the angels want to tell you, Aries. What else does Aries need to know, please? Advice for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. Oh, well, okay, this one was face up, so it's in the middle, but we're going to put it on the top because we saw it. All right. <laughs> The situation will improve. Well, I would agree. I feel like you. this indecisive energy is not your best friend. Recovery. You've got this energy, too, with that Nine of Swords that's going to help a lot. And we have abundance as you move forward, having choices, but having it in a way where you feel like you're in control of those choices. You're ready, they say. And we've got a yes, all right? Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.